Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we had work on our advanced filter section. So if you haven't watched, I'll link the i button on the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we're going to work on the shortening functionality. Okay, so let's start working on it. So what I can do is I'm going to make this comment so we can differentiate between the filter code and between the shortening code. Okay, so let's come up here and simply turn on this. Sorry, turn off this and let's save it. And this time, let me show you how the filter, uh, sorry, shortening query works. So again, same structure you have to follow here as well. So provide this question mark and type this short. And on the base of what you want to short the data, okay? You want to short the data on the base of price or on the base of name, on the base of description. You can see nothing will happen right now, but we're going to add the functionality. So right now we want to short the data on the base of price. So let's look, come here and let's start working on the code. So if request dot query this is the original query okay not the manipulated one we are targeting the original query and we have the original query and we're going to call the short method on this and we'll say if there is a short method then we take this query and what we can do we have to convert this into a let not not const okay so we can further manipulate okay so here we're going to take this query and we're going to call the cost short and here we're going to call this request dot query and we're going to call this short method okay so this will short the data and that's what we have here okay so we are shorting the query and passing that parameter here and this will already working okay it will show you all the nft with low to high price so let me show you you can see this is the price we have 1497 and if i scroll down here you can see we have this same price okay we're going to talk about this that why the same nft two different nft having the same price coming in this order we're going to talk about this as well so let's come down here and you can see here we have the higher price than the previous one and if you scroll down here you can see this is the highest one okay so it's already working we can easily able to short the nfts or the data on the base of the pricing from lower to higher so that's working fine but why the two nfts two data has the same price coming in the same order coming in that order okay so we're going to have the functionality for that okay so let's come here and you, if you do the minus one okay let me show you the minus one. if you do the minus one you will get the higher price okay it will start from higher you can see this is the highest nft price and it will go all the way to the lowest one so this is the lowest one we have all you have to do is to provide the minus sign and it will give you the highest one so that's how you will use this short method and now let's come here it's already working and we can do something better here so now let me show you this what i was talking about so this is the price 497 and this is one is so two different nft have the same price but they are coming one is coming on top of each other why it's happening so to change this behavior you can add one more fill okay instead of only looking for the price you can add the rating okay so you should always include two to three field in your shorting method okay so if the price is similar then we'll move to the rating okay so maybe rating difficulty will follow any one of these so where we have it let's sim let's take the rating quantity okay let's take the rating average okay so if the price is similar then we have to move to the rating to compare the rating okay so we can come here we'll take a variable called short buy and here we're going to take this request dot query and we're going to call the short method and in this we're going to call the split method okay <clears throat> so in this what we're going to do is let's pass this query and this is how we're going to do it so if you copy and pass it so this is how we're going to pass the multiple query in the shortening method okay by providing this comma okay that's okay so that's how we'll get the data and here we have to simply first thing we have to do is to find out that comma okay so we're going to target that comma and we're going to split them out and here we're going to call this join method and then we're going to join them together with the space not with the comma okay so that's the simple logic here we have now once we have done this one and here we're going to add the split method okay i forgot to add it so we have to call this split so it will split the two field with the comma and then we're going to join them with the space so that's perfect nothing complicated simple javascript and now we're going to pass that data here in this query shortening okay this will already work now to show you that how the query would look like let me do the console log and we'll say short by and now let's make a request okay 
let's make a request and here you can see this we got the nine result it will give you the nine result and right now we are having this rating so 4.5 we having let's come here okay we have a couple of nft have the same same rating as well so we can update that as well you can see this is the price we have highest to lowest so what we can do is this is the rating this two nft have the similar rating so let's come back to the update functionality and let's update the rating as well so what i can do uh, i can simply take the id and i'm going with this update and i'm going to paste the id and i want to update the rating okay so let's go to this body pass and here i have to simply uh what is the rating we have so which one we want to add this is the one we want to uh, update okay simply copy and paste here and the rating i want to provide is mm, let's say 4.9 highest rating then you can see successfully we have updated the nft with a high rating looking fine now we can come and make a request and here you can see we have this 4.9 the highest one on top and here we have that one also looking fine let's remove this space a minus sign and here you can see now we are starting perfectly so we are starting with the low price and higher and higher rating so that's looking fine so you can see this looking fine here and let's do the minus rating as well and you can see this is the lowest one we have 4.7 and you can do the same thing for the price as well so it's looking fine but if you look at the console log we have the the query okay so we have that minus price and rating we are successfully separate them and we are sending that so that's how we can build the query and it's working absolutely fine so i really want you to take a pause and try to understand that how things are working kyunki zindagi mein kuch waqt rukna chahiye kuch cheezon ko samajhne ke liye it's a it's a hindi sari which stand for sometime you have to stop in your life to understand things in better way we'll add the else property okay so if someone doesn't look for any query we have to add a default query and i will click this sort and i want to simply add this one so i want to not exclude i am going to filter the data on the base of the created time stamp okay so whichever created on the base of that i'm going to display the data by default so we have this created at so that's what we have here and let's come here and let's simply bring this down and just simply remove this query all the short and send the request back so this is the default data we'll get on the base of the document creation okay so if i create one document today and if one document after 10 days so the document i have created after 10 days and on the 11 day i will make the request i will get the latest one okay so that's the entire analogy we have here so the data you can see you, you can't able to find any difference in the created ad because we have deployed all this data at a single time with the script okay so all the timing is same so you can't able to find any difference here but it this function will work when you will create one nft okay so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have understood that how you can add short method in your api to filter the data okay in the next video we will talk about the limit okay limit fields so let's move to that